Hey, what's up? How you crazy people doing out there? It's me, Elric Ferris, here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel, bringing you guys another unboxing. As you guys know, Bulldozer, still waiting for it, but it's coming out soon, and there are a few chipsets out by AMD to support these new CPUs. Now, the AM3 Plus CPUs are supported by their new boards, and these are the 870 and 890 chipset boards. Today, we're looking at a board that comes into market very low priced. This board from Biostar, this is the TA87OU3+. Plus. Sounds kind of like a debt. TA87OU3+, plus, IU3+. Plus. But it's not. That's a motherboard, and it's the 870 board. Now, the 870 board is just a little bit different than the 890 in that it doesn't support both Crossfire and SLI together. It only supports Crossfire on the board. So that's really the only difference between it. That said, let's take a look at this very bargain board coming on to the market from Biostar. So, you can see I got the front of the box here. I'm going to flip it around, get a really close up shot of the back of the board, shows a lot of the features these guys have. A lot of you guys think Biostar motherboards are cheap motherboards. They're not cheap motherboard motherboards, they're just motherboards that are made for people that are on a budget. They still work fine, they have great RMA, there's no problems with their boards. They're just made for people that are on a budget, and there are a lot of people like that. So now we're going to go ahead and open up the box. Going to pop the cap. Right off the bat, we're going to see that we have the T-Series. This is the user's manual and guide. Then we have the drivers and utility CD right here. We have all the other things. comes in a little Biostar wrap package right here. You can see this. It's all wrapped by a little, little thing here. I'm going to go ahead and unwrap that. You can see we've got your Molex to your SATA power right there if you need it. Your rear I.O. Not very much on there, you can see that. Then we've got three of your SATA cables right here. We'll set all those down. Gonna go ahead and pull this thing out. And we'll go ahead and bring the motherboard out and show you guys that. Now, if you guys were looking at a website or everything, all the stuff that you guys see out here on the table right here, this will be considered the bundles section of, of the review. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff out of the way and then I'm gonna show you guys the motherboard. You can see it's completely factory sealed. I'm going to go ahead and pop the seal here, spin the board around, go ahead and open this bad boy up, it's all empty static and everything. All right, here we'll go ahead and take a look at the motherboard itself. Not bad. You can see they actually use good Japanese part, Lowe's MOSFET choke, all that. All their MOSFETs are all cooled and everything. Plenty of room around the ZIF socket. Supports both the AM3 Plus CPUs and all the older generation CPUs as well. Over here, we have the memory. The motherboard supports the 32 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. The eight gigabyte sticks are now available over on Newegg and other places. Now, for additional power, we have a single four pin up here, then another 24 pin power connector here. Now, looking at the board, I can see that there is not very many cooling fan headers at all on this motherboard. In fact, I see one, two, so there are really only two that I can see power headers in the entire board. That's not a lot. Uh, not the worst in the world, but not a lot either. Then we have two slots over here for the video. These are both, one of these is a 16 and the other one is an eight. Then we have two of the PCI 1X slots right here and then two of the standard PCI slots right here. All in all, that's okay. You can see there's plenty of room down here for your video cards. Then we have a couple things over here. We have first your two SATA slots right here and then we have additional SATA down here. And you can also see this board supports the USB 2.0 and it supports the SATA 6 gigabit connections through these as well. So also down here on the motherboard, you can see all these color connectors. These are what connect from your case onto your motherboard. They're all very well labeled here and the motherboard has been color coded so it's really easy to hook up your cables and everything. Um, other than that, you can see the board's pretty well laid out. The rear I.O., it's not very much on it at all. In fact, the rear I.O. is like very, very light on this motherboard, you can see. But like I said, this motherboard is geared for those people on a budget. This motherboard's not really geared for like gaming and everything like that. It's really just more geared for like a multimedia type system and stuff like that. So this is it right here. This is the TA87 OU3 Plus by Biostar. Like I said, this motherboard is going to be coming to a market about $59, so it's a budget priced motherboard, and it does support all the new AM3 Plus CPUs, including the bulldozers that should be out soon. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow, and I'll see you cats here again soon.